Welcome to this video. In the previous video, we saw examples of quadratic equations based on the quadratic formula. Now, we will see what common mistakes we do while solving quadratic equations by the quadratic formula. Two car drivers drive on two perpendicular paths from a city at 20 km per hour and 40 km per hour respectively. The second car driver starts the journey an hour later than the first. Can you tell after how long the distance between the two will be 100 km? Pause the video while solving the question and then match your answer. Let us express the given information in algebraic form. Hopefully, you have also made the same quadratic equation. Find the time taken by the driver using the quadratic equation. First of all, we will write the values of A, B and C by comparison to the standard quadratic equation where the value of A is 5, the value of B is negative 8 and the value of C is negative 21. By solving all the values in the quadratic formula, by taking the positive sign, we get the value of t as 3 and by negative sign, t as negative 1.4. You know that time is never negative, so the value of t will be 3. That is, the first car driver will take 3 hours to cover the distance and the second driver, which was delayed by 1 hour compared to the first driver, will take 2 hours. Hence, option 3 is the correct answer. If you have selected option 2, this is a good try, but it is the wrong answer. Because when you compare the values of A, B and C in the quadratic formulas, with the quadratic equation 1, you forget to put the signs of these values and solve the question with the same values. Here, we solve b to the power 2 minus 4ac. So, the values are less than 0 which does not give the real time because of which your answer is wrong. If you have selected option 1, it is a good try, but this is also the wrong answer. Because you have written a positive b instead of a negative b in the quadratic formula. And solve the question based on that. because of which your answer is wrong. So hopefully you must have understood why the third option is right in this example and why the other options are wrong. Teachers can also test the understanding of students in the class with the help of some such examples.